So the next thing we're going to do is I want to bring up Miss Kelly. You yes, are. you are. That's the so. signs of a true leader. Huh? Okay, so Kelly has, okay, had nine new people join her team this month. And um, not only did Kelly have nine new people join her team this month, she had nine new people join her team last month. And she had how many the, night, the month before? Nine. Nine. The so month who, before. Who, who would like to know, learn how yeah. Kelly does this? Raise your hands. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So... Kelly, Kelly is averaging one new person on her team every three days. Okay, I'm going to give you one. <laughs> All right, so 18 women in three months is crazy. Um, my why is really, really easy. I started with beauty control because I was working two jobs, and I really, really love my day job. I'm probably never going to quit my day job. And I love it, but I work for a nonprofit. So I don't get paid very well. <laughs> um, so I was working a night job. And I was grumpy, and I yelled at my kids a lot. And I slept all weekend because I worked all night. And beauty control came into my life in like this whirlwind because it was Wendy. <laughs> and um, I did the research. And I'm like, OK, I, I'm going to do this. And I did it, and I gave myself nine weeks with beauty control to see if I could replace my income of my part-time job. And I did it in six weeks, so I quit my job for my birthday last year. Um, so my birthday's on Saturday, so it, it will be one year that <laughs> since I've quit my job. Um, so my why was because I needed to buy my time back with my kids. And I actually keep track of how much I need to pay myself to not have to go to work on the weekend. So, and it reminds me, and I, even my kids every once in a while, or my husband will look at me and say, it's so nice to have you here on a Saturday. <laughs> so that's really fantastic. Um, during the summer, I took the summer off. My business went like non-existent practically. I was just telling one of um, the, the women on my team, I was like days away from going inactive <laughs> because I had to take time off for my family. And so when I started back up um, at the end of August, I knew I have to build my team back up. I need to do my sales. And... Uh, that's why I've been recruiting so madly, pretty much. So how do I recruit? I, first of all, I, I love beauty control. I really love it. And I think it really shows because just like any job that you'll have, any time, any career, any business, if you love it, it shows. And if you don't, that shows too. So I really love beauty control. I really believe in it. It's really easy with uplines like we have and directors like we have to be excited because they're always excited. I remember actually calling my mom and saying, this woman can't be for real. <laughs> um, but she is, and now I have my very own beauty control voice, and um, it's amazing. My daughter knows when I'm speaking beauty control because she's like, mom's talking about beauty control. She's using her nice voice. <laughs> so while using my nice voice, <laughs> um, I... Just am excited, and I'm okay with being excited, and I'm okay with being excited out loud. And that has been the biggest thing to change my business. Because before I was kind of worried about what people would think, and if they would think I was fake, and if they would think I was selling. But I don't really care, because now I'm just excited out loud. And I do a lot of telling women how much power and choice they actually have. So if I'm in a spa, I always have my goals. And my husband, who is very happy that beauty control paid for Christmas this year. <laughs> he asked me, what's your goals? And I'll say, you know, two bookings and two recruits and $500. It's a big goal, right? But I, whenever I say it out loud, I usually come pretty close to it. So usually only one booking. So an area of opportunity. I'm a counselor, so it can't be a weakness. It has to be an area of opportunity. Um, but I tell women, you want the mask and you want the microderm appeal and you want this and you're looking in your catalog about what you're worth and how much money you're worth spending. So you're going to spend that $88. Okay. What if you're worth more? What if you're worth all of this for the $88, for $11 more? And a lot of women hear the value in that for themselves 
um, and will sign up for the kit and be excited that they have all of this opportunity now. A lot of times I look at women and I say, you know, you want the microderm or the, the hand scrub. Well, so does everybody. Everybody wants a hand scrub. What if you sold 10? Then you've more than paid for your kit. You get all of this and you've shared it with 10, 10 people. Selling 10 instant manicures, not the end of the world. The catalog can be intimidating um, to someone who's brand, brand new. The idea of my own business can be intimidating, but 10 hand scrubs, that's not intimidating. So women who are contemplating how much they're worth spending that night, um, those are the women I'm really listening to. Being able to tell someone how much their dream is in instant manicures is how I recruit. So you want that, that $150 item? That's 10. So doing that has helped me a lot. I always have my kit out. And I used to not. I used to think, okay, I need my sales. I need to make my money. And that's absolutely true, and I, it, it hasn't changed. I need to make my money. Every night I go to the spa, that's time away from my kids, and I need to pay myself for that time. So only recruiting is a dangerous, dangerous place to be. So I always, I, I didn't used to always have my kid out because if I really had to sell, I didn't want to recruit. And what I'm finding is the people who are going to take advantage of the opportunity are the same whether I have my kid out or not. The only difference is they don't know about it if my kid's not out. They're just the people who bought the $15 eyeliner and that was it because that was all they had. Instead of buying the kit and then becoming like an amazing seller like Lisa, <laughs> um, and now she can buy whatever she wants <laughs> because she gets a discount and she's making money. So I keep my kit out all the time. I always tell people when I show them, this is in the kit. I always remind people, if you want it, other people want it. And I always talk in instant manicures. So this is 10 instant manicures, this is 5 instant manicures. Do you think you could sell 3 instant manicures? Because if you know 3 people who would make the same decision you did about that instant manicure, you just bought that toy for your kid, or oil change for your husband, or the tires for your car. So I just bought Taylor Swift tickets with instant manicures. <laughs> I instant manicured myself into Taylor Swift tickets for my daughter, and Canucks tickets for my, son, my husband, but don't tell him. It's actually Leaf Canucks tickets. He's, he's gonna, his head's going to explode. <laughs> but these are all completely huge expenses that we don't... I work for a living, not for a hobby, right? So we can't afford the extras that big, usually. But now Beauty Control has paid for everything in cash. My husband thanked me the other day because he needed $200. <laughs> it's the best feeling ever. And I'm sitting there, and I'm grinning, and... I'm trying not to be inappropriate because I don't want him to think that it's because I'm like, you know, ego now. It just felt so good to be able to say yes and for it not to be a fight. $200 a year ago would have been an up all night, hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> because it would have been so stressful. See, Wendy? Yeah. Right? <laughs> so now I could, yeah. I transferred the $200. Why? Because I had a spa the night before and I had a spa the next night so I didn't have to worry about it. So women seeing the stress change and women talking in instant manicures is how I recruit so quickly. And um, my sales, I mean, I, okay, so I was top in sales on Wendy's team. So I'm really telling you that if I put my kit on that table, if I point out what's in the kit, the women who were going to spend their money are still spending their money. The women who are going to find the least expensive thing in the catalog because they're at their friend's party and they don't want to let their friend down, those women need the kit and a lot of them are going to sign up for it. And that's going to help your business and it's going to help you feel better about your business because you're going to see how it affects their life and it just makes the world go round. So the next time you're having a really horrible day and you feel like there's, you know, What's the point? It's just a business. I don't want to go to work today. I don't want to have my store open today. And then you hear that someone bought their kid that toy that they didn't think they were going to be able to buy. That's a big deal. So put your kit out there. Show it. Show people what's part of it. Point out what's part of it. If you're showing the instant manicure, tell them it's in the kit. If you're showing the microderm appeal, tell them it's in the kit. I sell scads of it 
at spas right after I tell the women, you can get this for free. They don't want it for free. They want to pay for it, and they want me to leave them alone. That is fine. I will call them again in six months. <laughs> um, but the women who can't afford it, who weren't going to buy it anyway, they're the ones that are signing up. And they're the ones that are coming to my beauty use, and they're the ones that are raising my unit volume, and they're the ones that are letting me grow into this director in qualification, which is like a little baby director, I guess, um, which is really exciting, but it's the women who were going to buy the eyeliner. So don't be afraid to show the kit. It's not going to take away your sales. Don't oversell the kit. You don't have to. People see the value in it. But like I said, I sell all the same products that are in the kit, even after telling them that they're getting them for free. So that's my secret. It's not really a secret. <laughs>